Good rising lovely souls. How is everybody doing? We are picking a theme reading here. Let the fire dragon sleep. Uh, this card has come out a couple of times. Notice it's a number two. Um, I feel like this has to do with some partnerships. So I wanted to go ahead and do an actual reading on this. I'm going to go ahead and pull the book out of respect for the author of the cards. Uh, Colette Baron reed and Joel Nakamura is the illustrator. They're beautiful. The essential meaning is a warning to stay out of drama, respecting the consequences of possible dangerous outcomes when you deal with contrary people. So as always, right, we need to pay attention to what we're engaging in. I do feel like this has to do with partnerships. I'm going to just pull a couple relationship cards if you feel like this is speaking to you in the form of relationships, okay, like romance. And then I'm going to go ahead and just do a regular tarot reading, but I'm feeling called to do this first. Okay, I've got finances and career. It says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Independence, okay, can be crucial to forming in interdependence, like healthy partnerships, okay? Uh, so there is a possibility I'm actually picking up that someone is on the verge of perhaps starting a business or your business is about ready to take off and bloom here. Okay. You're in a transitional period. Um, I'm also hearing amethyst. I'm seeing amethyst. So, um, this is about being gentle. You can actually Google that, right? And look it up and see what resonates with you when you look at the symbolism and see the meanings of that. Um, clarity. This has to do with tuning into that crown chakra, the third eye chakra, right? Like getting into that intuition. Okay. That's going to help you with this business thing that you're doing. And that in essence is going to give you the independence to be able to be interdependent with a partner in a very healthy way. I also have unrequited love coming out. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this going. So if some of you are finding yourselves in a situation where, and this would be different people here, I'll put this on this side, are finding yourselves in a situation where you feel like you're carrying or you're masking or you're not being authentic, okay, that might not be the person for you. I would try to get back into your authenticity and see what's happening, right? That could be you know, that you're preventing some of the blessings coming in for yourself, but I would check that out. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and grab some tarot here. I'm trying to figure out a deck here. There we go. So let the fire dragon sleep. You know, sometimes we have to pick our battles. There's enough going on on the planet right now to pick some battles that actually mean something. So uh, please, you know, take care of yourselves. Understanding that your personal health and well-being has to come first. Okay. All right. I've got cards flipping over here. Let's see what we got going on. All right. So I'm going to stick this up. I don't know if it'll stay up there. Okay. I have the lovers coming out in reverse. I have the hangman. This would be past to present. The present position is I feel like someone's starting to take action. They are done. Um, this could have been uh, a partnership. This could have been, you know, you kind of trying to unite this matured divine feminine and divine masculine with inside of you as well. And I feel like you're starting to take action here. Spirit wants you to understand, okay, that the battle is over. All right. There might have been a lot of drama around you, which is why, again, this kind of this card is kind of coming out here, right? Um, but this is over. And I feel like you have decidedly decided. I'm not going to engage in this. Um, you could, some of you could have had to let some people go in this process. Uh, I'm here to tell you that that doesn't mean that they're gone permanently. Very possibly they're on their own ascension journey right now. Uh, they're trying to figure out their lives as well. And there is possible reunifications. This is the cycle that we all go through, right? Where things resurface and give us the opportunity to either do better or to let them go and release them for good. Okay, um, in the potential future here, this is in the hidden position, by the way, to let you know that you have, you have, you're over the hump with this, okay? 
In the future potential, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is a balancing out. This is spiritual health and well-being. This is financial health and well-being. Notice how the Pentacles are completely balanced on this card. Notice there's three almost like shelves, three lines there. Mind, body, spirit, okay? You're in the process of working on something, of fine-tuning, of honing in your skills here, okay? Um, I do feel like a lot of it has to do with emotions, but I'm also getting that you there's like a sole purpose here, this heart space, okay? And it's going to be coming into like a tribal victory. Some of you could be creating a community. Uh, some of you could be um, joining new communities. I do feel like this is something new for most of you, okay? Let's see what else we have, please. Flow, flexibility is what I'm hearing. Um, I do see that for some of you, you could be approached by either a couple or, you know, a partnership of some sort that wants to help you expand. They're very taken with you is what I'm hearing. Okay. They see your potential. They see what you're already doing and they, they want to become a part. They want to invest, whether it's time, whether it's money, whether it's just promoting what you're doing. Um, or they want to kind of partner and be a part of it. Your energy is really good right now, now is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I've got this nine of pentacles coming in. So straight from the eight to the nine, it's very possible that these folks could be helping you to complete the cycle. Somebody might want to invest. I will tell you that you need to be careful. Uh, you need to make sure that you have contracts even with this, even with friends, make sure that you have everything aligned the way it should be to, to um, you know, kind of keep those boundaries up, not to get so convoluted, right? Because we're just coming out of a cycle of drama here. And bam, okay, this is empire status here. Um, I feel like some of you could be really content. You have your intuition. Notice the bird in hand here, eight to the nine. And again, I really feel like this tribe or these people are going to help you manifest this on a, a much higher level, okay? This is like empire level, right? This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let's grab some oracle cards here and see what's happening. I'm also getting um, a little bit of a timeline is forming here. So just give me a second get some more information coming in. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I'm picking up within four to six weeks, okay, that this is going to be really underway here for you. I feel like this is going to come on, come in rather quickly, okay? Um, I feel like the groundwork is really important here, the structure, the framework, of whatever you're doing, but I feel like these people have a lot of that in place, and it's going to catapult. Yeah, we've got a change in the wind here, okay? I've got chaos and conflict coming up in the reverse, which we knew. That's done. That's over. Let's ask about this partnership, please. Okay, I've got Treasure Island coming in, okay? And I love the fact that it's coming in on a tortoise. Um, I don't know if you're aware. Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember. I want to say Lakota, but I could be wrong. There's a Native American tribe whose creation story um, is assisted with the tortoise, the turtle. And this is what this is reminding me of. Okay. Um, I can get more into that later. You can look that up as well. There's like a dancing woman that comes down and lands and um, some birds try to help bring soil to create the earth because they're floating on the earth. You know, the planet was just water. And a couple, I think it was the, um, was it the otter muskrat? Some kind of water marsupial, like mammal, goes way, way down to the bottom of the ocean or the water and grabs the earth and brings it back up and actually dies in the process, sacrificing itself to build the planet, right? Um, which is very interesting. Anyway, that's what that reminds me of. And because I'm being called out with this, we've also got the nine, which is three threes, okay? Three trinities. This is beautiful, okay? Know that this is long lasting. That's what I'm getting, 
Like how long has the planet been around, right? Like this is going to be a long lasting partnership, a long lasting relationship. And um, I feel like everybody's going to benefit, including the community. When I got an Oracle card for you, I've got trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? And I'm going to try and get in here in case you want to. There you go. Okay, if you knew you'd be supported, what would you do? What a beautiful card. Notice the, the portal here, right? Okay, so this is really about understanding that, understanding your value here. Um, I'm actually hearing, you know, these people are coming to you. You're not seeking anymore. You're attracting. And this is what we talked about with that higher level frequency, right that higher vibration that higher self Let's see what else we have yeah i'm getting within four to six weeks that um this is going to be like up and running i do feel like they have the structure you might this might you ever hear i'm hearing like overnight success okay I've got the king coming in, number three, man, authority, male, sexual energy, things pertaining to the law and justice. I feel like this is a form of justice for you all because, and I notice notice it's coming in in the, um, the divine masculine again. We've got the emperor and the king. It's a number three, another validation of victory here, okay? Um, this is so interesting. I'm wondering where the feminine's coming in here. And here it comes. Independence, healthy foundations. We've got the cat coming in. Number 18, which is also going into a nine, which we had here for the treasure island. Okay. Independence. I was just speaking about that. Perception, number 42. Make sure that you're staying open to things that you should be open to. If you're standing in this emperor energy and you're really aligned, a lot of the stuff that's going to come in to maybe distract you or throw you off course or residual things, you're going to recognize it right away. Okay. We do have trust coming up in the reverse, um, which is a reminder that you need to trust yourself. Okay. It comes in on 47, which is 11. This is really, and maybe it came out with the perception, perhaps this is what we're talking about here. Trust your own path. Stay authentic. I feel like doing things your way is what is going to make this work because it's your unique soul light that is attracting exactly what you want. We have the witch coming out here. Again, a two threes. I don't know how many more trinities, how many more mind, body, spirit trinities, right? The king is the three. We've got the three here, okay? Be aware of your reputation, your influence, and your power to create, preserve, or destroy. Powerful women are often misunderstood, okay? So there's a gentleness that comes with this. There's a grace. Stay in that higher self. Notice the cat, right? Cats kind of stay to themselves. They are who they are right? They stay to themselves, but they also are very, you know, they're very clean, right? Um, they take, they see their surroundings. Uh, you know, they're highly empathic, highly intuitive. Okay. So that is the message here. And it fits really well, I think, with the emperor, this divine feminine coming in in trust of herself, of her intuition. And again, this could easily be your divine feminine and your divine masculine integrating. And this is a reminder of what that should look like. Okay, we had that lovers in reverse, right? Okay, because we each have both. Everybody has a divine feminine and divine masculine energy. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Please check out the description box. Check out the store. I've got new colors up for the t-shirts. Bear in mind that sometimes as you load things, it takes a few times for things to come out and show correctly on the store. So just go ahead and click on it and look around. If It'll take you to the link where everything will show up correctly. If you resonated with this, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get these messages out to, ben to those who will benefit. This is the energy exchange, right? Take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.